Hi, this is Bree with So Not Crazy. Today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a baby pacifier clip. This is the little loop that you loop onto the pacifier and then you clip it to the baby's outfit or something so that the pacifier doesn't get lost. So first, let's go over the supplies that you'll need. And I'll link to everything also in the notes, but or in the description. Um, first, you'll need this little pacifier clip. I just got them on Amazon. You'll of course need scissors. I use fabric scissors. You'll need a little comb or a pet brush, hot glue, or maybe some E6000, um, a ruler. I use a little tape measure here and either a clipboard or a piece of cork board, something to secure your piece down while you're working on it. So, I'll leave that there. Oh, and you'll also need cord. <laughs> That's kind of important. <clears throat> this is a three millimeter single strand um, terracotta colored cotton cord. Um, I will link to my favorite sources for colored cord and also my favorite um, natural colored, which is kind of the traditional type of macrame cord in the description as well. You'll need two pieces that are six feet long each. And once you have all your supplies, then we're gonna get started. So the first thing that you're gonna do is we're going to measure one side of our cord to be about 14 inches long. So I just like to put the end there and then that's 14 inches. And this is where we're going to fold our piece of rope. And you want this shorter side, the 14 inch side, to be on the inside. So then with this loop, we're going to stick it through the end of the clip here. Kind of pull the loop through and then pull these two pieces of cord through the loop. And this is called a lark's head knock. And then pull those two end pieces tight. And see this shorter piece is on the inside. Now with the second piece, since you already have this one measured, I just put this end of the row that we haven't measured to the one that we have. And then they'll be the same length. Again, you're gonna make that loop Put it through this end of the clip, pull your loop just big enough so you can pull these two pieces through. You still want your shorter piece to still be in the middle on the inside and then you pull that tight. Pull those together and then see the two, trying to get it in there, you see the two middle pieces are the short ones. Now is when you'll grab your clipboard. Clipboards are my favorite for these types of pieces. But if you have cork board, you're just going to place your cork board on a horizontal surface. You can put your um, pacifier clip down and then just use little pins to kind of pin it right here to hold it in place. With the clipboard, you just clip it right there and that secures it in place. Now the knots we're gonna be doing are half square knots. We're gonna be doing that all the way down and that's what gives it this twisty look, which is really fun. You can use it in a lot of different designs. You can use it if you make keychains. 
Um, even if you use kind of like hemp cord and make bracelets, this is really easy and um, a fun design. So to do the half square knot, the two shorter cords that are in the middle are, ca are called our filler cord. So we're not really gonna be doing anything with that except wrapping these two pieces around these filler cords. The two longer pieces that are on the outside are called our working cords because these are the ones that we're gonna be working with um, to create the knots. So I'll walk you through a couple. Um, to start, I like to use the right-sided rope and make a backwards four. And then this piece is laying on top of those two filler cords. With the left piece, it's coming on top of that tail that you just made with the backwards four. And then the left piece goes under behind those two middle pieces and then pull it through this loop. And then I like to secure these two middle pieces by holding them between these two fingers here so that as I'm pulling these up, these don't get pulled up and bunched as well. And then we just pull those two outer pieces up until they're touching where we did the lark's head knots. Now, I usually encourage to not pull these super tight um, and also not to go too loose, but whatever you're doing, make sure you're consistent all the way down. If you change, you know, some are tight, some are loose, then it's gonna just change the look of it and change the size of your knot as well. So that's a half square knot. <laughs> that's it. We're just going to keep going now. So again with the right side you're going to make the backwards four and then it's on top of those two filler cords. The left side is going to come on top of that tail of the four. The left cord goes under behind the two filler cords and through here. Now I'm going to show you what happens if you're not holding on to these two middle cords as you pull up. See, they just got, kind of got bunched up there and you could just pull them down and keep going. But it's really just easier if you can anchor it with these two fingers while you're pulling your working cords. So again, backwards four with the right-sided rope. The left one lays on top of that tail of the four, goes underneath the tail, behind the two filler cords, and through here. You can see it's already starting to make that twisty shape. Now as you keep going and it does twist all the way around, don't feel like you have to kind of get like awkward and follow it as you're going. I'll show you after this knot. So this is my right-sided cord that I've been starting, you know, all my backwards fours with, but now it's twisting. So it's okay to make your right-sided cord become your left-sided cord now and start working with what was your left-sided cord and has now become right side. Just makes it a little bit easier. And like I said, not as awkward to try to follow it all the way around. Now, as I'm going, remember, I've been doing this for about six years now, so if you're not as fast, that's totally fine. That's one of the cool things about video is you can pause it, come back to it, catch up whenever you can, and you'll get faster as you go. switch the cord again because it twisted again and it was getting kind of awkward.
trying to follow it around. These are really fun if you're either expecting a baby, um, have a little baby, or know someone who's having a baby. Really fun gift to make. If you're feeling lost with the half square knot, go ahead and head back to the first couple of knots um, where I walked you through how to do it, or I'll link to the video I have that's dedicated solely to um, teaching that knot. So you can head over there and check that out as well if you're like, whoa, what is she doing right now? could also use this um, for plant hangers. It's really fun when each um, kind of section of the plant hanger is this twisty look leading down to the plant. So just lots of fun ways to incorporate this twisty um, half square knot look into a bunch of different macrame pieces. And then I'll tell you um, how long this twisty part is once I'm done with it I'll measure it and let you know but yours might be different again based on how loose or how tight you are doing your knots um, so we just want to make sure that we have a couple of inches of these two filler cords left at the bottom and that's going to make the little tassel that was at the bottom. And then I'll show you all of that in just a couple minutes. Compare it to the one I've already made a little bit longer. And as I'm tying these, just to make sure I'm consistent, basically, once this is tied and these are meeting you know, this knot is now under or touching the one before it. I don't need to pull it any tighter. It's not gonna go anywhere. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna measure it again. Yeah, that's about right. All right. So now at the end here, we have these two longer pieces, which were our working cord. They should still be a little bit longer. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out how to fit it in here. They should still be a little bit longer than our two metal ones. And this is where I like to use a little bit of hot glue. The other glue I really like is E6000. It's um, kind of like hot glue that doesn't, that you don't need to melt. And I just get those little tubes of it. So to make the loop that's going to loop through the pacifier and hold it, you're going to take one of these longer pieces that you were using as your working cord. And I just like to hot glue it 
right to these two um, filler cords right under the last half square knot that we made. Oh, I was gonna measure. Sorry, let me do that really fast. So as far as our knots go, I did about nine and a half inches down of knots. And I have about four inches of my filler cord left down here. So you don't have to use the exact same thing. You just want a good piece of your filler cord and these, you know, long enough to make a loop with at the bottom. Okay. And you want the loop to be kind of big here because we're still going to do the wrap knot to wrap up all our loose ends to secure the loop and then we're going to do the tassel but see the loop got a little bit shorter because we're doing the wrap knot so you want it to be a little bit longer here and i'm just going to put my hot glue on. careful not to burn yourself i just do about a one inch little strip of hot glue there Just make sure it's secure in there. I'll let it dry for a second. And I just like to use the hot glue because, you know, baby's going to be pulling on it probably, playing with it. It's going to get tossed around in the diaper bag. <laughs> we just want to make sure it's secure. And then you can either trim this piece, that's the end of that loop, or you can just fold it down like this. So now with that other longer piece, the other piece we were using to tie the knots, we're going to wrap. We're gonna wrap all these loose ends together. So you literally just take that long piece and start wrapping and you want it to go right under that last half square knot that we did. And this one you do want it to be pretty tight. Make sure you get that loop in there from, or the, you know, the little fold that you made from creating the loop. Pull it tight and just keep wrapping. So I'm gonna stop there. I did four wraps around. I'm gonna do one more, but then with this end to secure it, I'm kind of leaving it loose over here. And I'm gonna pull the end of that cord down through this loop that I left open. And then I'm just gonna pull, just like a basic and kind of not like you were tying your shoes. Okay, and then you'll want to make sure that you don't trim your loop, otherwise you won't have anything to secure this to the pacifier. And then you're going to trim all these loose cords, however long you want your tassel to be. And then comb them out. As you comb them, they might start to become different lengths or a little fuzzy at the ends. So you can just get your scissors again and give it a little trim. And there you go. You just made a baby pacifier clip. Now, I don't have a pacifier because I don't have a baby. But let's say this is your pacifier. You know, this is the little kind of handle part. How you attach it is you stick the loop over the part with the clip. You stick it through that loop and just pull it all the way through. Tassel 
it's all getting kind of tangled in there. But that's it, then it's attached to the pacifier. Clip this part to the baby's clothes and the pacifier won't fall to the ground, won't get lost. That is it. Let me know if you have any questions by emailing me at so not crazy at hotmail.com. If you complete this project and want to share it on social social media, please tag me at so not crazy. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks. Bye.